And now to a story for you motorists, authorities taking steps to ensure that you have a smoother ride on the streets of the capital. We got this update from the Minister of Works. Along the streets of the capital could be a nightmare for many motorists as potholes along the daily commute have led to hefty bills at mechanic shops. A few motorists we spoke to say it's ridiculous and they are calling on authorities to do something about it. We think of the uh, Fox Hill area, um, these roads have been bad for many years. Um, what has been happening, we've been patching, 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 and in you know, a first rain come, it's the same old, same old. When I come, I try to turn back around because they have a lot of holes there and they don't even broke up your car. And it's ridiculous. They got to do better. The authorities need to bring in someone, put some drains there, and they need to fix it. It needs to be fixed. It's really in terrible condition. As you can see, the hole in the back of me. Yeah, tell them to do something about that. I got driving in a mechanic shop right now. Right now. How much money you've been able to spend? Roughly? I don't know yet until he charged me the wheel is out of line. Minister of Public Works, the Honorable Desmond Bannister, says when he came to office in May, the roads were in a disgraceful condition and says government is now embarking on a significant project to make driving on our roads much more comfortable. Uh, we are bringing all the stakeholders together so that when we, when we do pave the roads and when we work in areas, we don't have water and sewage coming behind us and digging it up. We don't have uh, BTC or BPL or anybody else or cable or anybody else digging it up. And we are going to have an understanding with all of those utilities that after we pave roads, if they dig it up, they're going to be responsible for reinstating the entire road. Because I'm tired of driving on patched up, bumpy roads. Uh, the Bahamian people deserve better and they're going to have better. Bannister says roads like Farrington Road, Village Road, and major thoroughfares will be the top priority for his ministry. Additionally, he says the wait may have been a long one, but motorists can expect to feel and see a major difference when driving the streets of the capital and across this country in the weeks and months ahead. And while he could not give an estimated price tag to repair those roads, Bannister says it will be in the tens of millions. We put $10 million a year into Barmix, which is the government plant. Um, and that is just for the product. Uh, we're talking about labor, we're talking about a number of other significant um, aspects to it. And so it'll be tens and tens of millions of dollars. Uh, but when this work is done, we're going to have to take care of these roads. Um, they're going to be done properly, and uh, we're going to have to ensure that our roads last as, uh, as long as they're supposed to. You're going to see our crews out there uh, doing what they ought to be doing to make a difference. It's been a long time, five long years, since you've seen work of this significance, but you're going to see a difference in New Providence.